Welcome back. In this video, uh, we will be extracting the volatile nitrates uh, out of our prepared salt of ash. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to add a, get some of this and add a little bit of water until we've got a saturated solution. Too much. Too much for this experiment anyway. Okay, put that back. And by the way, these salts are highly hydroscopic. Uh, that's important to remember. And that just means that they love water. So here's my saturated solution. I'll just wait till it all dissolves and we'll put it in a little beaker type thing. Uh, and now what we're going to put on the top is, guess what, our ammonium hydroxide. And what that will do is that the ammonium hydroxide will pull out all the volatile nitrates. So it might be potassium, nitrogen, uh, <laughs> sorry, potassium, um, or any other nitrates that's there in there. It'll pull it out and what will happen is the calcium carbonate uh, and all the other carbonates will sink to the bottom as a white precipitate. Okay, so I'm just going to add the ammonium hydroxide and that should sit on the top. There we go, that will do it. And that will... So, all the salts you can see on the bottom are carbonate salts. So it'll be potassium carbonate, sodium carbonate, and um, other carbonates. Uh, and in the, our yellow solution is all the volatile salts. So if we dehydrate that, um, we should get some, a little bit of uh, volatile salts. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, there's a better shot. Uh, you can see it uh, growing on the sides of the glass there uh, in their sharp splinters. Um, what I've got down there hasn't dried out properly, uh, but you can see it all around the side of the glass. Uh, those volatile salts growing along crystals. Here's another example. You can see all the, the crystal structures, the long pointy needles. Yep. This one's starting to actually uh, suck the moisture out of the air. But yeah, there they all are. There it is. There are all your volatile salts. Actually, it's in the morning, so it's starting to soak up the cold morning air. Yeah, there you go. Don't let anybody tell you or try to tell you that there are no volatile salts in wood ash because absolutely there are. And they make their way up the side of your container every time. See them all? They're your volatile salts. And the ancients used to collect these. There you go, all your volatile salts. And there's just a small amount uh, that I've collected so that you can see it better.